Yeah, I said it. And I'm not wrong. Don't come at me, astrophysicists. You know I'm right. You're just too scared to admit the truth. That we live in a giant pizza. Think of a pizza. What do you need to get a pizza? Well, a lot of things, but what's the first thing? That's right, dough. You may be thinking, but the solar system isn't made of dough. But what is dough technically? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Google says it's a thick, malleable mixture of flour and liquid. Well, flour is just edible dust, and liquid is just lazy gas, and guess what the solar system is made of? A bunch of dust and gas that came from nebulae and supernovas. But pizzas need to be cooked, right? And it's not like there are any giant ovens in space. Yeah, the solar system is a pizza that cooks itself. You see, when the gas and dust from nebulae or supernova remains just floats about in space, it is gravitationally attracted to all the other dust and gas around it. So gravity pulls it together. As it does, it increases the pressure and the cloud will heat up. This balances out gravity a little, but the fight between the forces continues until the cloud gets so hot it radiates light and loses energy. This allows gravity to compress the cloud further, as the pressure is not as strong anymore. Eventually, the inner cloud gets so dense and hot that it turns into a fusion reactor. Hydrogen atoms are fused into helium, pushing the star outwards, while gravity keeps it all together. In short, just throw the dough into the void and the pizza will cook itself. But pizza can't be spherical like a star, it has to be flat. As the star contracts, any rotation the cloud would have had will be amplified. It will be in one direction, as collisions between the particles will eventually cause there to be one net rotation. The star itself will remain more or less spherical, but the leftover dust and gas will flatten, because they, unlike the sun, don't have the force of 2 billion times the most powerful bomb ever made on their side. But the centrifugal forces from this rotation stop gravity from squashing the solar system to a spherical point, but rather a flat circular shape. Kind of like those cool chefs on TV when they spin the pizza dough. Because it is a pizza. Okay, but what kind of pizza has no toppings? So far it's just a star with a bunch of dust around it. Well, the main ingredients are hydrogen and helium gas, which will turn into the star, but if there are other atoms, such as carbon or oxygen and so on, from the supernova remains, these will clump up and form planets and moons. Fun fact, because all the angular momentum comes from the rotation of the original gas and dust cloud, and momentum is conserved, all the planets orbit in the same direction. So bam, we have the dough, that's cooked, the right shape, and the toppings. There is nothing more you can try to pick out from this, I have proven it, and you can't change my mind. The solar system is just a very large pizza. Hold on. No, but that's not true. You, you can say that. No, no, but it, hold it's on. No, there's, there's no there there. Okay? <laughs> there, no. Just, just, just look. Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider. Do you, do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> no. 